time comes when silence is betrayal. That time has come for us even when pressed by the demands of inner truth. Men do not easily assume the task of opposing their government's policy, especially in time of war. And I knew that I could never again raise my voice against the violence of the oppressed in the ghettos without having first spoken clearly to the greatest purveyor of violence in the world today, my own government. You know, it's getting harder and harder for them to conceal their intentions. WikiLeaks released State Department cables from 2007 talk about growing evidence of Libyan resource nationalism. Almost the identical language used against Iran prior to a 1953 CIA coup that allowed them to control their oil supply until the 1979 revolution. Yeah, hey, yo, they bomb the civilized, kill the save. It's white man's burden all over again. Don't matter which US president at the head, there's no free will involved in their politics. They need a war for their massive industrial complex. The propaganda war made Iraq look honest. Demonized Gaddafi had to be first step, call a mad dog or other racist terms instead. They've been doing it for damn near 41 years because of pan African and pan Arab ideals. Once the poorest country on the face of the planet, now ranked number one in Africa, get damaged by massive bombs to try to recolonize. And these state department cables, they do not lie. They say it clear as day, it's about control. Now ask yourself, what is your own historical role? Yeah, life for Tripoli, the scene is misery, the scene is militant. Now Never bow to the enemy, never give up one shred of dignity It's hands off Libya, the people will be free Live from Tripoli, the scene is misery The scene is militant, never bow to the enemy Never give up one shred of dignity It's hands off Libya, the people will be free Say Gaddafi had massacred his own populace That Miss Rocker was scenes to all kinds of carnage But later exposed was the cold hard facts It was NATO behind the most brutal attacks And check how the daily lynchings back in style the so-called rebels are behind these crimes black africans being killed in mass they found dignity in libya before these acts before the sellout forces sold oil abroad before they met israel with their welcoming arms where's the international investigation human rights groups too often equated with arms of these so-called civilized states you can't judge resistance to imperial hate if you know history then you should know the deal and you should know where to stand that's for real, for real Shit, yeah. for Tripoli The scene is misery The scene is militant Never bow to the enemy Never give up one shred of dignity It's hands off Libya The people will be free Live from Tripoli The scene is misery The scene is militant Never bow to the enemy Never give up one shred of dignity It's hands off Libya The people will be free